how are you? My name is Kimberly Wright. Welcome to Handbuilt Pottery and Sculpture. Uh, today we're going to be recapping over what we covered last week and continuing on with our projects all about abstraction. Okay, so hope everybody's feeling well out there today. Just give me a couple of seconds. I just came out of um, another another class. It was karaoke, so I'm kind of out of breath. I was like the one of the star singers today, so a little bit out of breath. Main dancer. However, uh, it was a, real, a lot of fun, and so some of you don't forget to continue to look on the schedule to see some of the other events that we have and upcoming events as well. Like I said, again, we just had karaoke at 10 o'clock. So uh, I guess we'll jump right into our discussion. All right. So does anybody have what we, what I asked you all to do was to create illustrations, illustrations or diagrams for your abstract pieces that would tell a description of the uh, colors, what the particular uh, components of your piece mean, and how pretty much it was going to look. So I guess I'll just go ahead and show my example first. And if you want to, if anybody needs to grab their uh, particular piece, if you want to share it and show it. One thing I want to speak about is actually uh, plagiarizing. A lot of times it just seems obvious if I ask you all, what do you want to make? And if somebody says a unicorn, and then somebody else says a unicorn, it's just obvious that that seems like you copy it because how could one person just say a unicorn and somebody else say, oh, I'm gonna make a unicorn too. Like it, that, it's no way. Out of uh, 16 to 20 people is usually what I have in my class. Everybody has something very unique and creative to offer within themselves. Please do not copy off of others. You have your own unique, sensibility of thinking and thought and experience. So please uh, create your own projects. You have a lot of resources out there that will help inspire you rather than copying out somebody. So um, be mindful of that and just be creative and original. All right. So um, like even before I, I get, I've given you a lot of um, pottery prompts last week, a lot of ideas as to things to make for your do-it-yourself project, but you are welcome to, again, do it yourself, make anything you like. I just wanted to give you some ideas and, and just in case, and those ideas that I gave you, you can take them further. So just because I say you can make a planter or a, uh, toothbrush holder. The toothbrush holder might have a theme with uh, ocean aquatic things all over the, the piece. I'm not sure. So however, you're supposed to create an illustration for your um, abstract piece. And that's basically what we're talking about today. I'm going to give everybody a chance to share so actually, it's not uh, it's not about me. I was just actually, I do demos in this class to give you all a reference as to some people be so confused because they don't know what to do, but it's about you and your work. So if y'all want to go ahead and start it off to go ahead and share, just by a raise of hands because I'll spotlight your video so everybody can see. All right, Miss Diana Williams. Sorry, Miss Regina, I'm gonna I'm gonna um showcase you next. So Go ahead, Miss Diana, and go ahead and just uh, let us know what it's all about. This is a piece I call Life Grows. It's like petals, but then you have spirals coming out the center. Okay. So like these like leaves are surrounding, and it's open in the middle. 
and then you have spirals. I don't know how I'll get the spirals to stand up, but I'll have to let them get a little hard first. Yes, ma'am. I have a suggestion for you to do that, but can you pull it back up? I wanted to see. Can you tell us what you wrote? My colors. I say, can you tell me what you wrote there? Like, it's not, I can't. What, right here? Yes, those. Spir what, what spirals, you they will be like a bronze color. Okay. And then these petals will be like a bluish green or greenish okay. blue. And then the base will be like a bronze. Okay. Or like a wood tone. Okay, and so does the meaning imply just what the title says? Like, is that your meaning from your... Yeah, like the spirals would be the life coming out of the plant. Okay. Thank you. I really like your illustration. It's very uh, professional and clean. And it actually, you can actually use it for an art piece too. You can put it in a um, like a sort of like a journal or art. Uh, you know, they have these books where you can slide your art piece in. It's like a, a portfolio. Yes. Or yes. you can frame it. You can frame it as well and put it somewhere near your piece when you uh, are ready to uh, display your actual piece that you created. Thank you so much for sharing that, Miss Regina. Uh, Brantley? Um, my piece is called The Beginning of Life. Okay. And this is this is the uh, place where the life is stored. And in the center, I put my life where it starts as a little bit of seed comes out. This is the base of my table and the, that it sits on. My, my life piece will be, I want it to be gray. The piece in the middle that, um, that is the seed of the life, I want black on one side and white on the other side. My table is black and white stripes the, the, that sits on the legs are going to be black. I have actually did my piece and this is my piece. Be careful. Yes. This is my piece of life. Okay. Yeah. And my circle that will go inside of it and my base and my legs back here. I have actually made my piece. Show out then, girl. Show out. <laughs> 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 I'm proud of you, Miss Regina. Regina, I didn't get to see it. Oh, I didn't get to see it because I got dropped. Okay, this you is. Again? This Ooh. is my. This is the life. This is the life. This is called piece. Is called beginning of life. This mm -hmm. is the seed that goes in the life that comes out of the life of course, and I have made my table and everything for it to sit on, and this is the picture they built, and this is how Wow, it was. Regina, look at you. That's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, anybody else? If you're not ready, it's no problem. Okay, Miss Deborah Bell, you have your concept, your illustration together? No, I'm sorry. I don't. Okay, no problem. I Everybody don't. Everybody else have that concept of breaking together. So then I'll just go ahead and listen to what Miss Deborah Bell wanted to say. What did you say? I said I'm going to go ahead and listen to what you had to say anyway since. Oh, I didn't have anything to say. Oh, I thought you was about to say something, love. No problem. No, uh-uh. Okay. All right. Anybody have any questions thus far? I have a question, Kim. Yes, ma'am. On my spirals, should I wait? No. Should I wait until? Okay. What I recommend is to use, okay, you can get 
from me the um, extruder, and the extruder has a uh, a dial in there that has one circle in the center. The circle is kind of big, so that will allow you to push out a a, com a complete coil the thickness that you want. But as you push it out, it'll start to spiral on its own. And so you can just kind of lay that to the side and let them dry. And I would recommend probably firing them first and maybe probably even glazing them on the second fire, even maybe gluing them in there because if you're not in the classroom, it'll be very hard to attach those, have them standing up in your piece and then transport it, you know, yeah. So I would just probably lay them to the side and let them dry like that and even glaze them like that as well. But however, I will give you uh, the extruder so you can use that. But if you want another way, if you don't want to wait on the extruder, you can roll coils that are thin enough that you can, but still have some kind of thickness that you can roll them around a, a, a paintbrush or a pencil and then slide them off. That's what I was thinking. I had like a dowel. Yes, ma'am. A dowel is good. Yes, ma'am. Roll it around the dowel. But you can do that. Like even if you just have something this long. Yes. Good. You know, some kind of a stick. Yep. All right. So we're going to keep going forward with those questions. However, this is just an example. So this was the little piece that I showed you all last week. Let's see if I changed this a little bit. All right, yeah. So this is a robot in my mind, but the robot is generally me. And it sits at the sink, and it's really called a kitchen row buddy. But the name of the character is called Clean Mo. My mom uh, was really adamant on uh, cleaning up when I was growing up. Like if we used to have them hand prints on the wall and stuff like that, she would give us buckets of water with soap in it and sponge and be like clean off her walls and we'd be looking at her like why is she doing that like are we slaves like and she like, <laughs> so we had to like do stuff like that and sometimes I would clean up the kitchen it was my chore to clean up the kitchen and then once I washed the dishes she would be like Kim uh the counters is part of the kitchen the refrigerator the stove like <laughs> so a lot of the stuff like but once we got grown and my mom would like come and visit us just to sit and chill and chill out with us, we would be like cleaning up, cleaning up. She'd be like, sit down, clean mo. And I'd be like, mama, you the one taught us like that. So it's just like a little joke going on in my family that we call each other clean mo when we always cleaning up. So this particular thing sits at the sink. And even though I have all the attributes of what it means, I just feel like if you clean up the robot, if a robot were to clean up to you, for you, it would be like to me that they loved you. But you love yourself if you keep clean because there's, there are great rewards from keeping clean. But anyway, even though this is a sponge type of dish holder, uh, it says I love, and this is a you, even though it's the mouth. But a sponge fits in here. This is a holder. Even the mouth is a holder. These are arms coming up and coming down, but they are knobs that actually you can hang stuff on and hold stuff on. And even this down here is a compartment. So that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. So. Kimberly, I have mine. Okay, great job. Kimberly, I have mine. Hold on one second. Okay. Hold on, love. All right, Miss Vicki Bundrich. Oh mine is called Falling Down. That's a, that's good right there. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh -huh. 
I haven't. I've started working on it, but I haven't got it to the point where I can hold it up. Okay, you gotta explain it to us. Well, I, I did a piece of art called Circles, Squares, and Triangles. Okay. And he's uh, made out of circles, squares, and triangles, and he's falling down. And the colors that I'm going to have are highlighted. I'm going to try with red, yellow, green, and black. This is green right here. It looks black, but it's green. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just basically you're falling down on the job or you're falling down in life. Okay. You mean like in metaphorical ways, so many yeah, ways? In, a, actually in an abstract way, you're just falling down um, and falling to pieces. And that's how I construct, I'm constructing it based on pieces of, uh, that in my version is abstract because uh, sometimes you fall down in life or you fall down because of a um, crisis in your life, like the time that we're having right now with the uh, Corona-19 uh, virus. Okay. So I titled it that. It's, it's pretty simple. It looks like it's gonna be, easy to construct so it can stand up, I mean, fall down. Well, that's the thing. Sometimes, even though you uh, write, draw out a diagram or so to speak, even though you stick to your illustration, it does not sometimes in the end always look exactly, exactly like it, or sometimes it might be exactly like it, but however, your illustration is just supposed to be what you're shooting for. Anybody else have a, a piece that they want to share, an illustration? So far, everybody who has shared something that they plan on doing has done the illustration diagram. So if you haven't done today, you know, you have a chance tomorrow to show us what you plan on doing and share that. And if you have any questions, we'll take them. I gave out some uh prompts last week. Anybody want to hear some more of those? I told a lot of wonderful jokes. Y'all was just busting in y'all britches laughing. Miss Regina, you know you were laughing. <laughs> I have one, Kim. Yeah. Okay, good job. Kim, I have one. Okay, great. You ready? You ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, mine is a path of life. And this is a base. It's going to be all, um, yeah, all white. Oh, I can't wow. see it. Oh. <laughs> well, take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Right there. Good job. Yeah. Okay. It's a path of life. It's going to be um, white um, glaze. White glaze on it. Just pure white. Okay. And the base is going to be black. Okay. And... And this is what it what it looks like. Okay. Great job. Okay. My, oh, job. My great job. Great job. My daughter's expecting a baby. Okay. And this this is the way that the vessels are going through his um through her uterus and the, the baby. It's nourishing the baby. Okay. Oh wow! <laughs> Great job. Very good. Great That's job. That's so unique. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Miss uh, Jacqueline Lattimore, that piece is very unique. Actually, I when you was taking so long to present your piece that I did, I was I was unclear if anybody even had something to share. So. I was kind of like just thinking, pre presumptuous thinking that you had your drawing. So when you actually showed the piece, my mouth fell open. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very beautiful. It is really, really nice. Great. Good job. Anybody else have illustration pieces to share? Anybody got something to share from our last previous uh, projects? Anybody got a Mobius to, sh to share? a fruit or vegetable vessel because it's some people that still have not turned in their project. 
Kim, did my mind, it was cracked. My pineapple was cracked. Did it fire all right? It fired perfectly. And everything that everybody submitted has been fired thus far. So the next uh, round on the schedule, we will, you all will be receiving everything that you submitted or turned in so far. I have mine in the box already. I'll uh, show it, but I don't know if you can see it in the box. Do you um, see the illustration? Let me, let me know if you, you can see it. Is that Miss Etheria Pearson? Yes. Okay, let me get you on the spotlight, love. Can you see it? No. No. We can't I see the student fan. The dining room. We, you got to go back well over the camera. At. Uh, come down, May. I'm on my phone because my... Okay, I see. My... Hold on, hold on. I see now. Hold on. Okay. That's my mobile. That's me. Hold on, love. Wait a minute. Oh, the teacher disappeared. One second. <laughs> I see it on the screen. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. From the side, it says E D S. E P S. E P S. E P S. I don't see anything but your screen, Kimberly. Frozen. That's all I see. Hold on. I see it. Hold it's on. beautiful. Hold on. All right, oh, now goodness. if you turn to oh, the side, yeah. it says E P and then S. It's Ethereum Pearson, but it's Ethereum is Ethereum Pearson Smith or Ethereum Smith Pearson. <laughs> the way the uh, Ethereum Pearson Smith. Yes, Ethereum Pearson Smith. It looks beautiful. Great job! Great job! That's beautiful. That's really really. The good. other thing. Uh, I didn't do a, a, a demo, uh, kind of a sketch of what I wanted because I already had a piece like it, Hold and on. I've already made it. Let me switch off uh, because you're going back to your other camera. My uh, my abstract. Uh huh. You said you haven't finished with that yet. Is see if you can see this. Okay. It's finished. You see it? Hold on. You showing me on your other, on your phone? Yes. My okay. speaker not working on my computer. Yeah, but I, I was going to see your face. Hold on. Okay. Can you see it? No. There it is. Great job. Just like you right here. Oh, wow. Who made that dragonfly? Oh, wow. That's great. Ooh, that's pretty. That's great. Ooh, that looks so beautiful. Who made I that? I haven't named it yet. Miss Ethan. I haven't named it yet. I wanted to name it something related to the dragonfly, but I, I'll well, she do made that it, tomorrow. She made it for me. <laughs> you made that to give to me. You weren't supposed to show it to everybody. My gift. Now I see my gift before it's ready, Etheria. That's beautiful. You <laughs> see, I asked for those earrings last week. Yeah, that's so. There we go. There's my dragonfly, and you got the earrings. Hey, we working, girl. <laughs> <laughs> now I get the earrings. Yeah, yeah, I get something. I didn't get. I got to get something sometime. Oh, Woo! I love it. Thank you so much, dear. That's so sweet. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Miss Ethereum, is that your abstract piece? Yes. It looks really beautiful. Are you going to create an illustration for it to explain it out and everything? I, I will. Good job. It looks really beautiful. And I have a name for it by tomorrow. Oh, no problem. Great. Beautiful. Good job. So nice. Great job. Oh, great job. Thanks for sharing that with us.
And so I'll share my Mobius cam. Okay, great job. Hold on, give me one second. All right, we're ready. Okay, so can you see it? No. Oh, you just see me. Yes. yes. How do you see my Mobius? How do I show it to you? What do Hold I do? Hold it up in front of your face. Hold it up close to your face. Um, if you cannot, then don't attempt to. Can you see there? Okay. So this yes. is going to be part of my abstract. Wow. It's um, simple serenity. So what this will do, the way it's sitting. Oh, be careful. It has no beginning, no end. What? Be careful. And I have, you can see it right there. I have this part textured and this part smooth. So you'll see a very smooth side right there. And then on the other part that shows where it just sort of blends into the other part is where I have the texture on it. Yes, I don't know if you can see it. Yes, we can. Um, and then my, my abstract piece is what this is going to sit on, but I haven't, um, I haven't drawn it yet. But I like that, you know, and what I've been really working with on the last week is making sure that you can't see any seams on it, that it just, uh, you know, moves. I hate holding like this because I already have one break and fall apart. Is that um, fair? Yes. Showing the strength of your but if you don't stop picking it up with one hand, please stop picking it up like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I made this one much thicker so it holds together better. But so the way it's sitting right there, this is where it's going to sit. Anyway, I'm not gonna pick it up again. Okay. So that's that's my Mobius, and my abstract is going to be around the Mobius. That's nice. That's good, Deborah. Thank you. Be careful. It looks so beautiful. Good job. Great job, Deborah. Great job. I love they, that. That's the second one. The first one fell apart because it was too oh, thin. You got uh, egg on the door. I, love it. I like the way you got it standing up and I like the texture that you added. It looks really nice. Yeah, I have to have What's your dog's name, Miss Diana? You are you, you music, love. You have to unmute yourself. What's your dog's name? I had to pick her up so she wouldn't bark. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's your dog's name? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Lexi. Oh, Lexi, okay. Miss Paulette, Every time I've been, 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 it's getting away too fast. Can I, see, can I see a show of hands out there? Who, I mean, I know it's a lot more people that's in the class, but I want to see how many people, if you turn to your work, you don't have to show no hands. I want to, have you, have you turned in your fruit or vegetable uh, vessel? If it's somebody has not, raise your hand. They have not. Miss Miss uh, Gwendolyn, don't you have a part of your uh, vessel that you have to turn in? I have to do the top, but I need to get to pick up the bottom. I was going to do that when I turn in oh, my yes, other yes, piece. Yes, yes, uh, yes. So you need your bottom to create your top. No problem. Anybody else? So everybody else mm -hmm. has turned in their fruit or vegetable vessel. What about everybody turned in their Mobius except for Miss uh, Deborah Bell? Can I bring it today? I don't have a schedule today. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just showed you mine, so you know I have, I have turned in mine. Miss Paulette McKinney, you creating yours? I haven't started on it yet. No problem. Take your time. Work on it. All right. So, don't forget to continue on your um, abstract pieces. Once again, everything that you have already submitted and turned in is um, has already been fired. And uh, if you all don't have any more questions or anything, we're going to continue this class 
Too. I have one question. Yes. What is a what is a Mobius? Did I miss that in class? The Mobius yeah. was the when did drop off date. Drop off date. I I'm gonna be calling y'all on you know for a schedule for that. But uh the okay. sorry, Miss Jacqueline Lattimore, the Mobius was the strip or the band or the loop. You need to write Mobius down so you can look it up. That's okay. that's that band or loop or strip that um everybody's been kind of showing, like that's curved and stuff like that. So it's spelled M O B I U S. M O B I U S. I'm going to type it in the chat right quick so you can see it in the chat. Okay, I got it. This is what you need to look up Mo B S and Luke or Strip. Okay, I got it. All right. Yes, that's like a mathematical equation. This man came up in the 1800s from Germany. And so his last name was Mobius and he named the actual thing after him. But that's that. Oh. What it is, it's a strip of, it's a strip of clay or a, a strip of paper that I, we even did a demonstration, like a strip like this. And what it is, it's connected. However, but a true Mobius, you have to, once you make your strip like this, you have to take it loose, twist it one time, and then put it back together. You're going to see it. it. It has, you have to have twisted it one time and then put it back together. Okay. So like this, this is a Mobius. <laughs> okay. But you'll see when you look it up. So I will see you all tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of fun tips and uh, some things going on. So don't forget to tune back in, especially if you have some projects that you want to share or show. My name is Kimberly Wright. Thank you so much for showing your beautiful creations and joining with Handbuilt Potter and Sculpture. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye. 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 Bye, boo. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>